Hello my Lenny Things family and friends. Welcome on back to the channel guys. I'm so happy to have you. Welcome to all my new subbies. If you're just, you know, clicked on my channel and you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. To all my day ones, thank you so much for being a Len Loyal. Thank you for always coming back and engaging with me here on my channel. Thank you for helping this channel to grow. And another way you guys can help me to grow even more, share me out y'all. Share the videos. Hit that like because that is so very important. Hit that like every time um, you see you know, a video and you enjoy the video, please hit the like. It will really help me. And then subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. I definitely would love to have you here. So today, guys, we are here for a Dollar Tree review. Um, it's just so, I don't know, it's so dreary out today. It's like rainy. It has been raining here all day. I'm in Illinois. Um, and it kind of is like one of those days you kind of just want to just lay around and do nothing. But I was like, no, I'm going to get on and talk to you guys today. I'm going to share some um, ups and downs or thumbs up, thumbs down with you guys. Um, you know, some items that I have recently purchased at the Dollar Tree. Let you know, you know, did I like it? Did I enjoy it? Would I buy it again? Would I never buy it again? don't do that <laughs> um yeah so i just kind of wanted to share my reviews with you guys so we are going to jump right on into it and don't forget at the end of this video because it is still black history month i will be sharing a little short story about my next uncle okay guys so here we go we're gonna just jump right in so first i wanted to um review this uh lusty's detangling spray so i did purchase this some weeks ago and it does say it is a bonus size it has like the pump I really do like this. Lusty is a company here in Illinois, um, and it is a name brand. So yes, it works. It works just fine. I bought it when my daughter was still in the hospital because, of course, she could not, you know, do her own hair. So I like she has a really soft, textured, curly type of hair, and I didn't want her hair to like mat up. So I use this a lot to um, just spray her hair, keep it moisturized, detangle it, and then I like kind of braid it up or something. I really loved using it, and so if you if you do run across it, if you have kids and you know you need detangling things like that, give it a try. It's 125. You can't go wrong with it. So that I would say definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Um, but that's one of those things, y'all. So y'all know Dollar Tree. Some things is here today, gone tomorrow. You're not gonna always find some of these products that I show um, as an everyday item at the Dollar Tree. They do get you know leftovers or things like that from other stores, and so it's like once you see it get it do not wait get it i have learned my lesson y'all i have done that where oh i'll get it next time and then sometimes you never find it or you find it maybe so much more time later so yes like i said that's a thumbs up my next item i just purchased this this is a a newly purchased item it is the japanese matcha cream mask now i love cream masks i like masks that i can just put on um i do like the paper mask but i tend to forget to do it because it's like i gotta open up the package i gotta lay it on my face and all of that but creams i tend to love to use because i have it right there in the bathroom squeeze Put it on so i did put this one on i left it on for 10 minutes rinsed it off with you know warm water like they said and i absolutely love how it treated my skin i would definitely definitely get this again it is a detoxifying cream mask and like i say my favorite kind of mask is like a creamy mask i love it and it went on really really nicely so that is a thumbs up but it is freeman yet again it's a it's a, a name brand so i did not expect for it not to work but um Sometimes things can, you know, maybe not be good for your skin. I have oily skin to myself. I have oily skin. So this helps me a lot. I like detoxifying type of things. And this one worked. And I love matcha, y'all. So that item is a thumbs up. My next item, y'all, I still got are the balloons. So it's losing its little clearness to it. But we had these balloons. This was a six pack. And as you can see, it has like a little pink, um confetti inside and of course i added the string but i wanted to review the balloons because i feel like dollar tree is definitely definitely the place to go for party supplies balloons wrapping paper don't go to party city or don't go to one of those big party stores where you are paying four to five bucks for a roll of wrapping paper when you can go to dollar tree and pay a dollar 25 for something somebody is going to rip up and tear up anyway and then the same same thing with balloons um 
they have a big array of balloons. I have run into name brand type balloons, um, reflective or like shiny balloons. They definitely have a lot to choose from. So I will always, always say thumbs up to the Dollar Tree uh, balloon section, party section, period. You will definitely find something for your events. And I I'm telling you, save your dollars. Save your dollars, go to Dollar Tree. So that or those are a thumbs up for me. Next in my little basket, it is the Brillo Basics Dish uh, Soap Spray. Y'all, I absolutely love this. This is so a thumbs up. My only thing about this is I wish it was bigger. Oh my goodness, I wish it was bigger. Um, and then I did find like a little tip because I do work in, you know, cleaning and things like that. Um, I found a way to kind of make your own spray detergent if you want. So um, I may remake some more of this, but... Uh, if you want to kind of make your own little spray detergent, all you really need is um, hydrogen peroxide, water, and dish soap. And so you will have, let's say if you do have this bottle, it's empty. You want to fill your bottle to maybe this much uh, water, and then you might, you're going to add about the rest of it uh, with hydrogen peroxide. So maybe that much water, then hydrogen peroxide to here, and drops, just drops of maybe a Dawn dish soap or something like that shake it up spray it you got your own y'all so we can make our own if we want but this one i love how it comes out it comes out really nicely and it, it's like you see the soap on the dish you see it doing its action you know i really love this like i said i just hate that it's so small i really wish it was big like the palm olives and i did enjoy the palm olives but this one smells amazing it smells so much better than the palm olive i like the palm olive but this one i do like better i don't know why so the Brillo is a thumbs up. I would definitely purchase it again, or I might make my own like I do sometimes. Um, my next item is the puzzle. So I do really love Dollar Tree's puzzles, guys. Um, and I loved, love, love this. So I, uh, me and my daughter, we're going to sit there and we're going to put it together. So I opened it up, but I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I used to put puzzles together years ago. It was a great pastime for me, but y'all. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I I, I did too much, y'all. So these pieces for me, if you look in there, oh my gosh. So you really have to have patience to want to put this together. I really wanted to put this together. Um, like I say, I used to have the patience back in the day when my girls were small. I used to always put puzzles together. And this is still, it's not daunting, but I just, I poured it all out on the table and I started to kind of like separate the pieces like you would do. If you put puzzles together, especially big puzzles, then you know, you want to organize your, your pieces so you know what goes where. I was like, yeah, no, I, I threw it back in the box. So um, it's a thumbs up because the picture is gorgeous. It's a thumbs down because these pieces are so small that I don't know if I had the patience. So I'm letting you know now, if you don't have the patience to, you know, put the puzzle together, um, I wouldn't say don't buy it because I, I, I love it. I, I Honestly, I love it. But I just couldn't do the pieces, y'all. So it was like, you know, I have too much going on to kind of deal with that. So it, it's a no for me and I wanted to go back and get more but I was like if I do it will be in the box and I would not want to waste such a beautiful puzzle and I may you know get myself a little uh, I don't know maybe a board or something like that and start you don't have to do it all in one day um because back in the day when I did used to do puzzles and I do mean back in the day my, my girls were like little three and five or something like that and they're now almost 23 and 25 okay so 20 years ago when I um, would like to do those. Um, I never did a puzzle like in one day because I like to do one big puzzle. So it's like I had this little board that I would put together and you no, know, you just take your time. You do it whenever you get ready. So I may do that because I really do love this and I do want to see how big it is. So it's a thumbs up a little bit, y'all. Go ahead. <laughs> my next item in my little basket here. Yes, y'all. The eyelash holder. Oh my goodness. Oh, and they show you on here. I didn't take the little sticker off because um, I gave this to my daughter in her um, Easter basket. And I just thought it was so cute. I didn't take it all the way off, y'all. Sorry. I thought it was adorable. So they did come out with these in like three different kind. There was there is one with cherries on it. Um, and I think that one is pink, if I'm not mistaken. They had this purple one. And there is one more. What I love about this thing, it is, uh-oh, I'm trying to open it and I can't open it, y'all. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love it because look at that. So my daughter, the the eyelashes that she got 
from the Dollar Tree are already in here. These are the ones um, that my daughter went and had her eyes, her makeup did, my oldest daughter, when she had her little makeover. These are those same ones. So she can reuse these eyelashes if she like. But I love that. I absolutely love you have somewhere to put it. And there's a mirror there. And then... It's just so cute and compact, right? It is so adorable. And a lot of people do wear eyelashes or, you know, at least every once in a while. So why not get yourself one of these cute little compacts to keep them in, right? Come on, Dollar Tree. That's a thumbs up, y'all. Absolutely love this product. My next item, I purchased these a while back and I think I forgot about them, y'all. I really had a taste for something to snack on. I was like having a snacky moment and I remembered that I purchased these planters, uh, salt and vinegar peanuts. So good, y'all. So good. But again, it's a name brand. Um, and I really, really love these, but the Dollar Tree has started carrying other flavors. Come on, Dollar Tree, 125. And let me see, this is a six ounce can. So they have a, I want to say a hot Chipotle flavor. There was a caramel flavor and I still never picked up the caramel. I don't know if it's caramel brulee, but it's like a caramel something. Okay. It was a caramel flavor. And then you have, of course, your regular salted and the salt and vinegar. These are great. I had these and they really did satisfy my snacking mood that day. So these are a thumbs up. My next item is from Dollar Tree, like tech items. Um, I don't buy too many things in electronic aisle or the tech aisle. And you guys let me know because I don't think I film too much in that aisle. So when I do my walkthroughs, if you would like to see, you know, more items in their tech item, let me know down in the comments because I don't. But um, this particular item, I absolutely agree with. I absolutely love. I did not bring my phone in here with me, but this is a stand for your phone. And so there are three different levels. That's what these little grooves are for that you can put it on. So I'm going to put it on the second one. And you will sit your phone here. So you can have your phone going up and down or you can have your phone going um, horizontally. And, you know, you sit it there and you can, you know, not have to hold your phone. So if you want to do like I'm doing right now, you want to record you and you're doing it with your phone. You can have this sitting up and use that. Or if you're, you know just don't want to hold your phone and you're watching videos maybe watching like youtube videos right now um you can use these you know to have your phone we have a couple of these around here i absolutely love these these are a thumbs up so if this is one item that i will say is great in their electronic section that i would definitely buy again next guys in our basket um okay so you guys saw me show you the mini perfume bomb so I absolutely love this, but I read the back of the package, which I think I threw away now. So, um, I was telling you that I think I would use it for aromatherapy, which I definitely would. I am so in love with this. Oh, I'm so in love, but reading is fundamental, Lynn. <laughs> so it was saying on the back of the package to kind of warm, you know, rub it a little bit to kind of warm it with your finger. And then you can place it on, you know, this part of your hand, you can place it here behind your ear. Um, or, you know, somewhere here, it is, it is really used kind of for that, but the smell goes away. So it's like, they say you can reapply as many times as you like. So I think they are thinking, um, more like something where it is aromatherapy, uh, when you need just like that tranquil moment, you just need a few minutes and you can get that, you know, a few minutes. And so you need to put this on. So like I said, you just rub it for a few minutes or a few seconds and then put it in a place that you want. It's so fragrant though. When you open up the can. And it really does smell, but it does not smell like all day. It's not like, it's not, you won't smell it an hour later. It's really like a bomb. It's really for those few minutes that you might need it right then. So, um, it's still a thumbs up for me. Cause I just think it's so cool. I thought I had it upside down y'all. I think it's so cool. And then, and then you can take it with you. So if you are having a stressful day at work and you just need to kind of, you need a moment, you know, you need to get away. Um, you kind of go ahead and put some of this on It's easy it's fast and then everyone else in the room doesn't need to know You know you have it on because like I say it doesn't linger the scent does not linger But you can reapply it as much as you like so it's a thumbs up for me But I just wanted to kind of let you guys know like it's not a perfume Far as something you will smell on yourself hours later. Mm -mm. It's, it's not like that. It's it's totally different um, my next item I am going to be reviewing, of course, it is the um, pillowcases or the pillow cover. Yep, y'all, I found the blue one. Um, so, so happy. So, I just want to review it because, y'all, this is like kind of a new thing for DT um, as far as 
them coming out with these ugh, i love it and i can't wait to diy it so i wanted the blue one because i did pick up the pink already but just these pillow covers in general finding them at the dollar tree for a dollar 25 i just think that is amazing you know i just find that so great to be able to do so always check your zippers too y'all always check your zippers but yeah you just you unzip it you put your you know pillow in there um and i just want to say definitely a thumbs up for these there's just 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 so much you can do with them this particular one just seems so diy ish for me and i will be diying these um but the other ones that they came out with like for the christmas and I'm not sure if there was any out for the fall, but I know um, some of my great subbies did send me uh, some of the Christmas ones that I could not find. I'm not even sure if I ever found them in my stores because, baby, they bought those up so fast here. Oh, they, because they, they do. They go really fast. You, where do you find a pillow cover for a dollar? So now Dollar Tree has been carrying um, pillow covers. Like, let me show you one. Okay, guys. So like this one, they have, they have been carrying something like this one for... A couple of years now and I look at that like one this I think was still when Dollar Tree was a dollar y'all I've had this one a while at least two years um and so it's the same concept you you know you unzip it you, you put your pillow in there oh my goodness I absolutely love it and this one is actually really thick it has a nice you know feel to it you can wash them if you like um yeah I love it and so they did have this kind out but when they started to carry those that are decorative or decorative for the holidays, a lot of people I know would, you know, find those type of things in store or they'd order them on Amazon. Now we don't have to really do that if we don't want to. We can hit the Dollar Tree and try to find them while we can find them. Because that's the thing. They do get bought up really quickly. So, yes, these uh, new pillowcases for all the different holidays, honey, your girl is here for it. They're a thumbs up for me definitely thumbs up my next item that i want to review those new bags y'all let me know in the comments have you guys found any of these food storage bags yet so i have used this one um i put salad in here i made like a big salad yesterday with to go with our dinner and like we had a little bit left and i was like you know what where am, when am i going to put this in i put it in here and um it was so so great so the one thing you do have to do of course because it's you know reusable you have to wash them out so i suggest like you know once you you know rinse them out wipe them out really good with a nice paper towel or um if you want it to air dry you rinse the things out and then just kind of put them on your rack like this and let them air dry then they're ready to go the next time you need them yes y'all so this was by a company called core um, so it is not a Dollar Tree brand. And so if you're running into these bags um, and I'm noticing that they have there, they have like one packs. Well, actually, most of the ones I've been running into have two in them. But I was lucky enough to run into a package that had three. So if you guys run into the one with the three, there are three different sizes in that. You get a small bag, a medium bag and a large bag. Yes. And I was able to find one of those, too. I did grab one with the cute little doggies on it absolutely love it and it's like i say by core um which is not a dollar tree brand so once these are gone y'all these are gone so if you see them in your stores grab them up they are a thumbs up for me my next item so i do not forget the v8 splash and if you can see it's still kind of full y'all i was so disappointed in this i was so disappointed i really wanted to love this so much i was so excited to be able to find such a big you know juice v8 i drink the v8 juice splash drinks i love the veggie fruit combo drinks we drink them all the time um for some reason i did not like this um it kept giving me i, I don't know for lack of a better word like it just tasted so it was giving me if you've ever had that starburst drink at the dollar tree the little powder packs for some reason it was giving me that so it was tasting like artificially to me like they were trying something it's it's just weird it, it does not taste right i did not like it my daughter did not like it um but like i said it's not giving strawberry or banana to me it is strawberry but it's just so i don't know and it says that it's like you know antioxidants in here um there are b vitamins in here so i don't know if the vitamins are giving it that flavor but i'm not getting it's not giving i'm sorry <laughs> it's not giving it's a thumbs down i'm so sorry like i said i wanted to love this but we did not um we did not so that was a fail i mean it's a great price it really depends on your taste buds so if you did find it and you know if you've had it before great and you like it go ahead and buy it 
But if you've never tried it before, you know, that's what I like about Dollar Tree. You spend your dollar twenty five and you know you can try things out before you go to the grocery store because this definitely is not gonna be a dollar twenty five at your grocery store. At your grocery store, you're gonna be paying maybe three something to four something for this bottle. So I would rather pay a dollar and try it and not like it than pay that much and not like it. Um, but yeah, it's just the flavor wasn't given, y'all. We just couldn't get with it. I don't know why we did not like it at all. So thumbs down for the V8. Sorry. Um, my next item. Mm, 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 mm. So the Wiley Wallaby. I'm smelling the bag now, y'all. Um, I tried these a while ago. I did not like them. Um, I don't. I think it was the consistency. It wasn't so much the, the flavor because the flavor is wonderful. But y'all. I absolutely fell in love with this. I knew I would love the blueberry pomegranate. Y'all, I went out today because I wanted some more of these. I went to a different Dollar Tree, though, because that's where I found, like, the blue um, pillowcase that I went to my favorite store. And they had watermelon flavor, cinnamon red, the black, and one more apple. They did not have this one. I was like, oh, my gosh, I really need to get back to that Dollar Tree that I bought these from. I want more and more and more. Delicious, y'all. These were nice. So I don't know if the last time that I tried these did I get a bad batch where they, you know, had gotten hard or something. I did not like it. This one is so good. And I hate that I love it so much because this is not one of those flavors we see all the time. We, we just don't. And so I love it. So I purposely made myself stop eating it because I'm like, if I can't find it again, I want to hold on to this as long as I can. <laughs> absolutely delicious these get a thumbs up in this flavor y'all oh i love it love it love it like i say i'm just just taking my time taking my time eating one or two and putting the bag up because like i said if i don't make it back to that dt where i found those and i'm not able to find them somewhere else i'm scared i might not find them again y'all um that's a great great flavor i knew i would like that and i'm still on the hunt for the wild berry flavor as well so thumbs up for the wily wallabies y'all i who knew? <laughs> um, and next and last item that I want to review with you guys is the Dollar Tree Iron On um, Vinyl. So I thought I bought more than one of these, but I can't seem to find the other one. I could have sworn I had pink maybe, but um, recently I wanted to use it. I've had this quite some time um, and I never got around to using it. But I had a project in mind and I wanted to use it and try to see mm, how does Dollar Tree iron on vinyl work. I have a lot of the regular permanent and the removable vinyl and I do use that here and there depending on what project I'm doing or what I'm doing. But I did wonder about the iron on one, right? So I did start and I did mess up y'all a little bit, but let me show you. I, this was like my first like attempt at using it. So of course the black is not from Dollar Tree. This one is from Hobby Lobby. Um, but the gold bowl and the name, cause I was trying to like make it for my daughter. So um, yeah, I had to make sure that my Cricut was on mirror and I forgot. So like I say, this was my tester, but look at it. It really works. What? So I was so excited about it. Um, yeah, and it feels great. Um, I'm not going to say it's the best because I noticed the difference between this one. Ugh, this one feels like butter. You know, this is by Hobby Lobby, and it feels amazing. So, of course, that one should be a good one. Um, but the Dollar Tree one feels, you know, pretty good. It's not as soft and buttery as this one, but it will get the job done, you know. And so I really did like how that came out. So I will give the iron on a thumbs up, depending on what you're making. Um... That's cute that they have like a heart. Maybe I'll do something like that. But like I said, I had a project that I was doing. This was my test shirt. I really did like it. I will give it a thumbs up. But sadly, I'm not seeing too much of the iron on. I really do want to play with some more. That's why I can't wait till I find the pink one because I could have sworn I did buy pink as well. But I don't know what I did with the pink. Um, but yeah, so thumbs up for that. And next, guys, we're just going to do our few minutes of black history uh learning about my black history a little bit about another uncle and my family so my uncle today that i will be doing is my uncle leonard hey leonard lynn <laughs> and that uncle uh memories of that uncle i have a lot of memories being really small and he was he was around and what's funny is this particular uncle is the third out of the seven of my uh, mom's or my mom's mom's kids he was the third oldest okay so he was pretty much um 
way older than my mom as well. But being a kid, I remember him being around and him and my mom having a very good relationship. So my mom, I'm not sure how old she might have been in her late 20s, early 30s um, at the time. And then um, that particular uncle, like I say, he had to have at least 10 years on her because I know that the oldest um, children were way older than my mom by the time her mom had the last two kids, which were my uncle Raymond, who I spoke about yesterday, and my mom. So um, I, I do remember them two having a great relationship for them to have so many years in between themselves. I do remember that because I remember him being around and honey, he just thought he was too cute. Um, so yeah, I'll show you his uh, pic in a minute, but it was like he had this thing. I don't know. He used to have the, a saying about like being cute in the waist and 28 and no cute, cute in the face and 28 in the waist or something like that. Y'all, he was funny to us. He was just funny. Um, but he, and he also was the type of person. He was like really warm. He was really fun to be around. Um, and I think he was a little bit of a ladies man. I, I'm not going, you know, sugarcoat. I think he was because like he had a lot of people that liked him that I can remember that I, I was a kid. I can't say for sure, but I just feel like I got that vibe from him. But um, one thing that I did not know was that this particular uncle was in the Air Force. Who knew? So this is my uncle who was in the Air Force. <laughs> my uncle Leonard. And so I was like, Oh my gosh. So in 1955, he joined the United States Air Force. I never knew that. So of course he had to be a young man when he went in 1955. I was nowhere to be thought about <laughs> um, at that time. And actually in 55, if he went, th that just goes to show how much older he was because my mom was not born until 52. So she was three years old when her brother went off to, you know, be in the the Air Force. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I just, I did not know um, that until actually until his funeral. Like, you know, I remember him being around. I remember him babysitting us. He was also the uncle that gave all of us nicknames. I'm not going to embarrass my brothers and sisters and say what he nicknamed each one of us, but he did give each one of us our own nickname growing up that he called us. Nobody else called us these names, but he did. And like I said, he was kind of like a father figure a little bit because he was there, you know, trying to help my mom at times when we were little. I remember him um, making all these ridiculous things. Like, so if he would babysit us, he would make something like Navy soup and he would just throw, I feel like everything in this soup. It's like, what is this? Um, and now I know why, like, duh. Now I know why he would speak like that because he actually was in an armed force. And so, you know, it's like, you learn to, you know, do or have or make what you make do with what you have, basically. Um, and so, like, if we didn't have much, hmm, Unc made a way. He made sure we ate. I don't care if it was Spam and cheese sandwiches. The man made a way. Um, so he was a big help to my mom when we were little. I do remember him being there to babysit us sometimes and, you know, have fun with us. And he would take my little sister with him because, like, if we would be in school. He would have my little sister, who was at the time two or three, and he would always buy her potato chips and take him with her. And everybody, all his little friends were like, oh, she's so cute. So he was really a family man, too. So thank you, Uncle Leonard, for your contribution to the Air Forces. Thank you so much um, to the country and to your family. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed this long, put a heart down in the comments. So thank you so much because I love you guys so much. Um, don't forget, hit that like, hit that uh, notification, little bell, so that every time I upload, you will know. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.